Raiden is, uh, I believe, has something very important to say. <coughs> These fans not taking to Raiden here tonight. I'm sorry, what? Special. It's going to be good. I mean, let's just remind you, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? You got your old dance? Show up your old prize that you literally won. Not again. This guy going to shut up. I'm trying to speak here. Championship, which is right in front of me, and very shiny is too proud. This young man is very deserving indeed.
Teilnehmer und Non-Teilnehmer. You're asking for the challenge of me, Ryan, for a title match. Us then, okay? You cowards, here's a question for you. Should these pathetic twins on a bar challenge me to a title match? What? seen here. This was meant to be just going to be a one-on-one -on -one non tile match. Now it becomes a tile match and he knows two or three falls and no DQ. Chris Greaves, explain. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Anyway, carry on. I didn't ask, but yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, carry on. Well, as you can see, the bell being rung. That was a really good bell ring that was, by the way. Thank we, you. we all like a good bell ring. <laughs> but somebody who could get his bell rung tonight is the Academy Champion, Cayman Carlisle. We've just... Uh, just been challenged there by Ryden for a match. He's up the ante, as it were, and turns into a two out of three falls match, which is what we're going to witness tonight. This should be a tremendous contest. What do you guys think of the, well, let's face it, outstanding bravery oh, of that champion? Oh, wait a minute now. Uh, let's just take our focus to the, uh, to the squared circle, and that might not have been a good idea. Oh! Hey. This is absolutely see that. Oh! That's what Cayman Carlisle's going to need to do. Oh. Stick and move, just like we saw in the earlier contest. Oh, Cayman look Carlisle. Out the monkey flip. Oh! Big time monkey flip out the corner. That oh, was a big monkey flip there by uh, Cayman Carlisle. That just shows you that leg strength. I'll tell you something, while Ryder was talking, I felt like putting Everdale on. Well, Cayman got a TV screen to do that bit. Now let's turn our focus back to wrestling. Oh, a bit crossbody, which what? was missed. Let me ask you something, Carl. What, oh. do, you, what do you make of the change oh. of Ryden over these past few months after, after the celebration, after the Dream Ticket Challenge? Ryden seems to have a change of heart, adopted this arrogant attitude towards the fans and his fellow competitors. What do you make of Ryden's change of, of, of mood? Well, what do you think, Josh? The boss no longer see. Well, um. I'm fine, thank you. Anyway, carry on. I, uh, I think it's all down to self-confidence, really, you know. Ryden knows that he's a big guy, he knows that he's strong, and he knows that he can get the job done. And, you know, if he feels that he doesn't need his people's support, then, by all well, means... I mean, uh, sorry, I meant to, I meant to you know, interrupt you okay. there. Uh, I, I know what you're trying to say, but the thing is, don't think this is a walk in the park for Ryden, because let me just tell you something. That man right there, Kim and Kyle Isle, was not handed the championship back at WrestleBration. I'm, I'm glad you've come round on Kim and Kyle Isle. Come round to my way of thinking. I've always known this guy to be a quality guy, and not just a quality guy, but a tremendous, tremendous, peerless almost competitor in the squared circle. And this guy, he's got heart. He can oh. fly, he can wrestle, he's got the total package. How the only thing he doesn't have is the size. I do apologise that I care, the size of the massive Spartan warrior. You've seen this guy in the gym, he's a beast. And this is a definite match of contrast. Wait a minute now. Look at this, being consoled by a fan there. Oh, kick to the gut. Let me just tell you very quickly, what do you think about the main event tonight for the UK Wrestling Championship? Including El Aguero and um, Prince Amin. I am beyond excited for tonight. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Side of the ring. Suicide tornado DDT by Cayman Carlisle. Uh. Words don't do it justice, Cayman Carlisle. Oh, was absolutely amazing. It's incredible. Good Carlisle. Innovative offense. Just taking out and the right. Spartan Warrior there. And the Greek Warrior is down in a horizontal position. And look at this. Look at the cow. 
Oh, referee's up to eight. With a nine. <laughs> Could this be? No. The first fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. One fall. So it's one up. The one up first fall. Taylor. Carlisle. Wait a minute. Ryder not happy. He's not happy. He took a DDT on, on the wood. Look, listen. He took a DDT on the wood. Well, he, did, he certainly did. It was wood meat head. And wood yeah. bone. Oh, head meat wood. That's, that's oh, the same thing. Oh! oh moving on. <laughs> very good, very good, Chris. I like to see where oh, you're coming from. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, what is, oh, oh my, my God. word, look at that power. Oh! That was a deadlift military press cow. Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, uh, no. Well, Ryder using Cayman Carlisle like a, like a barbell almost. His shoulder there for Ryder, and the weight is Cayman Carlisle. Him around the ring. Well, let's just let's have a conversation. We all know you, Chris Hughes, as well. You like to drink beer, but you also work out too. I, I work out while well, you have your own set days. Well, on the it. I do indeed. Oh, I'm, every day is forearm day, forearm curls with a bottle of blood. That's wow. how I roll. Is the uppercut days as well? Uppercut days always. <laughs> oh, look at me. Came and Carlisle eat the canvas there with that big shot right to the spine. And let me just tell you something every shot that came and delivers on, on, on riding, he's not going to give half the effect for well, Ryden giving shots to Kim and Carlisle. So what that means is, is Kim and Carlisle, to be honest, has got to throw literally everything at Ryden to take the big guy down. Ryden, all he needs to do is possibly just do this. Oh! As you can see. Yeah. And, uh, and let me just tell you something, all that was, was just a forearm right to the back of the neck. Well, and, you... and, and let me just tell you, back of the neck, I mean, that area right there, it's, 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 it's so fragile, a skull, a human skull is so fragile. And you imagine them big forearms coming at you with full whack. Chris Greaves, let me tell you something, you might be a hard man, but trust me, you get a knock like that, you won't be on your two feet by the end of the night. Well, we all got back, the spinal cord region, looking to even the simplest manoeuvre. Oh, from a guy the size of Ryden can be absolutely wait minute, devastating. Wait a now. We see Cayman Carlisle with some high risk offense. The, top rope. the high risk district. Oh, oh, I thought it was all, one all. Remember, we're looking for a best of three falls match. So, for example, let me just tell you the rules of this now. If Cayman Carlisle, if Cayman Carlisle gets another fall, he wins. But if if, if, if Ryden gets a fall, then it's one all, and then that's it. Then we go to a, a, a last fall. Oh, my God. oh a deadlift. Gut wrench suplex. The power, the power game of Ryden almost unmatched here in UK wrestling. It is indeed the case, Cal. A central world goes the first of two falls. Best of three falls match here. Oh, no, no. What's say? And the barriers. Oh! oh Ryden getting extreme with the best of them out here. Right on the, the guardrails, a tag team right partner. On the almost. barriers, yeah. And then barriers, as you can see, a steel. Absolute oh, steel. Oh, no. No! This Cayman can have it dumped! What is Ryden planning here? Ryden, not known for his diving ability, and then he sends him out of the crowd and looks like. Looks like we're gonna have some audience participation here. Oh. Yeah, the audience can get not just the HD. Oh we, my we god. We know the HD look. Oh my oh god! My word. Let me just tell you something, the HD what you're seeing in the ring is high definition, but the HD over the barriers is human devastation. I've missed you, my friend. I've missed you. Have you really? I haven't, I haven't been, been that long. Brother. I mean, I'm kind of recovering a little bit more now. I mean, I'm, I'm still feeling the pain and I'm still injured. I mean, let me just tell you, when I got hit with that choke slam, my back was killing oh! But I actually bit my lip as I landed as well. So, uh, and, and, and that was the thing. Now, it feels like I've got ulcers in my mouth because I bit my and it is so painful Chris Greaves and Josh sorry Josh I kind of want to bring you into the conversation here well, but it's so kind of like we're on a desert island and you're on the boat surrounding the desert island we need to get you off that boat bring you on the island with us and we'll have a good time calling the 2014 December Bash right here in the Cognitive Academy of Leeds right here I'm sorry, Carl, but I was just so... Uh, no need to apologise. Oh, my God! Oh, oh satellite DDT! Satellite... Satellite DDT! DDT out of nowhere there from Cayman Carlisle. Remember, one more fall, and Cayman Carlisle retains the Academy Championship. This has been an interesting match. I mean, let's be honest, Cayman Carlisle 
is just showing right now why he's a champion. Would you agree? Um, Chris Green. Oh, absolutely. Cayman Carlisle, he's got heart. He's got everything it takes to be a champion. He's got fighting spirit, something you have as well, Carl. I've seen your matches. But uh, hey, Cayman Carlisle, look at this out. This shows the level of guts, of intestinal fortitude that Cayman Carlisle, look at this. Getting to a slug first with a massive riding, that takes guts. That takes a fighter. But you have to remember, Chris, Cayman has still got to win this match. If he loses, he loses his chance. And also, all he's worked for for the past year. Do you think he can pull it off? Well, Cayman Carlisle's been in a number of high-pressure situations. He's back in one tonight. That's no, it's going to be no shot to Cayman Carlisle. He's a fighter. He'll defend that belt. He's been a fighting champion. Now, top row. Another head scissors and now all the way to the outside of the ring. Is, is there anything else what, what Tim and Cal Isle can do here? I mean, Ryan is rocking. Here comes Doobuster. So spinning DDT. Doobuster. Lands on his feet, misses with the super kick. Oh, the spear. spear. The spear. The spear. The cover. The two. And we the three. Now it's now one all. Maybe one day I could be getting your microphone and, and calling that straight down the middle. And well, <laughs> I do call it down the middle, just like Fonzie. Right down the middle, Daddy. So, what do you think these two gentlemen need to do now, Carl? Chris? Well, this is this is all all or nothing now. We're down to one fall apiece. Whoever gets the deciding fall here gets the belt. Everything. This is this is these two men must be exhausted at this point. This, might, this, might be it. To an end. this fall might not last for too long. How much longer? He took it, lands on his feet. Oh! Super kick! Oh! Over two count there. I Kevin actually Kyle went to ring the bell there. And by the way, I've just worked out, so we've got a new ref. We have indeed got a new ref. ref. Uh, he looks a bit like a younger version of, um, what's his name? Um, Phil comes down. That's well, yeah. He may be Phil's son. He may feels, well be. He feels He might be a second generation re uh, referee. Well, look at this, the Doom Buster! No! Look at the strength of, 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 of Ryder. Look at that. Ryan. How on earth? Straight into a vertical suplex. Hole. He was looking for the means to an end there. Caden. And now look at that. Cinching in with a choke. Cutting off the floor of blood. Cutting off the carotid arteries to the brain. Look at this. Ryden. Trying to break out of this. Make no mistake about it. That is a sleeper. That's one of the most devastating moves in the history of wrestling. Look at that Superman punch there. Perhaps not as much behind it as it usually likes. Oh! Two counts. And how close were we there, guys, to a new Academy champion? That oh, 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 was close. I mean, let's be honest. It, it, was, it was that close. Um, I mean, let's be honest. We thought we were going to have a new champ. We may have one right now. Oh, it's That's over. Right, it's okay, you know what? You best get the bell ready. That's right. One. Two, three, no, wait a minute, one, two, three, oh, 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 hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that is Banshee, what, there you go, oh, oh, I am left here on my own, ladies and gentlemen, Cara Dunovich has been laid out by Ryden, and Banshee is currently taking it to Kerman Carlisle in the ring, Banshee sending a message here that he's coming for the Academy Championship. As you can see there, the broadcast legend laid out once again by the massive Raiden. Are we seeing an alliance forming? We've seen the Banshee come out from the back, lay waste to Cayman Carlisle. My broadcast calling Cal Dunovic. Oh my God! There are no alliances here. Raiden is definitely not to be trusted, Chris. Banshee just, just not clean. Not clean out there. But the Spartan warrior is standing tall. Carl, are you okay, my friend? Carl is crawling, slowly crawling back to his seat there. And Banshee, look at this. Banshee's leaving with the Academy title. He is sending a message to Cameron Carl out playing this. He's the number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. He hasn't won a match. And right he's straight back on Carl. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that Carl is not. Carl is. Oh, the spear! The spear to Carl! 
I believe Carl is a champion. He is, in fact, a, a true broadcaster. Carl, there, he wasn't. He's not even in his gear. He wasn't anticipating the assault by the massive rider who just flattened him with a devastating spear, the most feared spear in the business today, possessed by Ryden, and he was just laying waste to, to, to the broadcast legend, my, my friend.